Hello there, this is Renee. Welcome back. Today I'm getting such intense energy. I feel a lot of bitterness. It's simple really. How do I feel? I want us forever. Yeah, I, I feel like your person, your person wants to tell you that they want this relationship. And they feel um, they feel that you are being so unbothered by them not communicating to you or them not paying attention the way they should, right? I'm, I feel like your person is bitter at the moment because they feel like they have all these feelings for you and you feel unbothered at the moment. They're, they're, they're getting an energy from you that is like stable. <laughs> like you're just focused on you. And that's making them a little bitter because they really want to communicate to you how they feel. But they feel like you're so unbothered that you might reject them. Right? Hmm. Not the right time. Yeah, see, that's the reason why it's not the right time. They feel like you you the energy that they're getting from you is that they're they you're so unbothered by the situation it's making them overwhelmed and currently with the situation that they're in or maybe responsibilities that they have it's it's like the energy is not the right time but is exactly the right time they just need to make an effort emotional in intimacy I'm afraid to truly open up to you. Being raw and authentic with my emotions is something that I'm still working on. So yeah, they're, they're finding it hard to find that emotional intimacy to, to really open up to you how they feel. Right? That's something that's very foreign to them. They don't know how to have that emotional um, intimacy because they're like closed off. They're trying to open up their heart at the moment. But there's still this sexual energy that's coming off very strongly from them because it says have my kids. Yeah, th this person still fantasizes. They still have these daydreams ab about you. So they're, they're having these fantasies about you day in and day out of you being together, of you being a family, of being intimate with you. Attached to my ex. Okay, so now this isn't going to resonate for all of you. This is going to resonate for some of you. This person is with a third party situation or this person is attached or married so or has just left a situation but this person feels like maybe you or them are attached so th that's something that is kind of in the back of their mind too this isn't goodbye right this person doesn't want to say goodbye to you they don't want them to lose out on the situation and they're, they're so scared of losing out on the chance of loving you. They, they don't want to walk away. They don't want you to walk away. You know? Um, and I feel like they're, they're constantly feeling like, you know, this is their last chance. This is their last hurrah, so to say. I keep getting that... that song by Shirley Murdoch the last hurrah you know if you don't know it go look it up Shirley Murdoch the last hurrah and it's a beautiful song and I, I feel like they they don't want this to be the end they don't want this to come to an end 
but they feel like they're slowly losing you like you're slowly slipping away okay so we'll get one more message one more message for my collective please they have this fear that they're gonna lose out on loving you lost yeah see your person feels so lost without you and that's scaring them they don't know how to feel like that you know and you hurt me you know that that's this gaslighting energy that they have they feel like you are the one that hurt them that everything that happened hurt them so much and they need time to kind of focus through it to get past it because those feelings were so intense and so overwhelming to them right so but your person is also trying to find happiness they're trying to learn how to love right one last message <laughs> your mind see your person your person feels like they're losing you and they feel like they need you to know that you're theirs that no one else should have access to you no one else should be in your energy and i feel like your person feels like you know there's this bitterness that i was feeling because your person is so pissed off because they feel like there's other people in your face there's other people who could possibly take their place right i get so pissed knowing other people can have you now it is toxic yeah i don't know i want the world to know your mind right so your person your person feels like you're theirs and theirs alone you know they don't want someone else in your face they don't want someone else taking up your energy right so your person better make a step soon otherwise there's going to be someone else coming in your energy taking up your space and that's going to leave them really heartbroken right so this is the message i have for you so if this resonates please like and subscribe hit that bell and i will see you on the next one many blessings to you love and light bye bye